Hey, this is Lance Culver, and this is going to be a tie flow tutorial. In this video, I will be adding shock absorbers to this rig. This example is in addition to a few videos I've uploaded for setting up a vehicle rig using tie binds. If you haven't had a chance to watch those videos, I would recommend checking them out first. You can follow the link in the upper right hand corner of the player or check the description below. This will only take a couple of minutes and it's a super easy setup, but before I get started, I want to mention aligning the bone objects for the struts will be much easier if your model components have their pivots in the correct position in the correct orientation like these for example each pivot is centered inside these joints and if i switch to local you can see that they have the correct orientation so because these are good i don't need to adjust them but it's possible the model you're working with, the pivots may not be correct, and it happens. If that's the case and you're not sure how to line everything up, check the description for a link to a quick tutorial on how to do that. Okay, so I have a model here and I have a rig. This is a little bit more complicated than the rig we created in the previous video, but it's the same basic setup. Okay, so getting started, I'm going to create a box. Make a copy. Rename this one RR Upper Strut. Okay, and then I'll rename this one as well. I'm gonna go ahead and set this back strut up right here and select the upper strut dummy. And align that to this upper strut pivot point and also align the orientation. Do the same thing with this other one. Okay, next come to create helpers. Click on this drop down, tie flow, and create three tie binds. I'm gonna take this one and align it to this upper strut dummy. I'm gonna go ahead and shut off this. Uh, okay, for the top object, I'm going to select this chassis dummy. And for the bottom object, I'm going to select the upper strut dummy. All right next, I'll select another tie bind here and align it to the lower strut dummy. And then for the top object, I'm going to select this control arm dummy here. And for the lower object, I'm going to select this lower strut dummy. I can select both of these and add a tie bind settings modifier. Okay, the defaults are all good, but I do want to reduce the size of these and shut off the icon. Next, align this tie bind to the upper strut dummy. And then change the gizmo to local and then move it down about halfway. All right, for the top object, select the upper strut dummy. And then for the bottom object, select the lower strut dummy. And then add a tie bind settings modifier. I'm going to enable the movement settings. Reduce the spring value to zero. And then under locks, I want to uncheck the Z. We don't want this bind to be able to twist at all, so we're going to enable the limits. Reduce the size of the gizmo and shut off the icon. All right, so this bind is locking the upper and lower strut dummies together, but allowing them to move towards and away from each other on their Z plane. And since we reduce the spring value to zero, there's absolutely no tension on them. So they will move freely with the individual part they're connected to while keeping them pointed at each other at all times. All right, select the upper strut here and add a skin modifier. 
and then add the and then add the upper strut dummy as the bone. Select the lower strut, add a skin modifier, and then add the lower strut dummy as the bone. So now all we need to do is add each of these tie binds to the tie actor. And these skinned objects. Of course, you would need to repeat the process for the other shocks, but I select tie flow. And shut it on here. So if I scrub through, we can see it's working nicely. And I also have some terrain set up just to test it on. Okay, everything is staying aligned. If you like the video, please hit that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit that as well. I would really appreciate it. If you're having any problems setting up your rig, feel free to leave a comment. So until next time, thanks for watching. See ya.